with me now former U.S. Attorney Joe DeGeneva and Governor Mike Huckabee, former presidential candidate, Fox News contributor. And you did a great job filling in. Thank for you. Me. Great to see fun. you. Um, all right, Gov. We heard from Hillary Clinton tonight. Yeah. For going on and on and on, already predicting Trump's going to win, basically, and trying to delegitimize a uh, Trump uh, reelection uh, tonight. But the Democrats seem to have this problem with the word spying still. I want to play something for you. This is various cable networks around April 10th. Let's watch. This uh, FISA warrant to, to uh, surveil, to spy on Carter uh -huh. Page is in October 2016. The application uh, to spy on Carter Page was 50 pages long. When they spied on former Trump campaign advisor Carter Page. The application to spy on Page was approved by the president's own deputy attorney general. Yeah, so last April, they had no problem with it. No, Calling it spying, problem. but now it's like, how dare you use the word spying? And I thought Barr did a masterful job of just spelling out exactly what that meant, going back to his own background. But the, the bigger problem for the Democrats is they got nothing. They got nothing. They're like people who show up at the barbecue restaurant at closing time and all the meat is gone. So what they're left to do is just lick the bones, gnaw on them a little bit and suck the barbecue sauce out of the bottle. They've got nothing else <laughs> to do. And I think it, in a way I almost felt sorry for him watching them. Uh, but then I didn't because they were so rude and disrespectful of the attorney general and uh, how he maintained his composure oh and God. didn't crawl across the table and go after a few of them is a testament to diplomacy, grace, and being a gentleman. Yeah, a true, a true professional. Joe, they're making a big deal tonight about the fact that Barr said eh, on the House testimony tomorrow because they, are gonna have, they were going to have staff attorneys ask some of the questions. For our viewers out there, why is it a problem if some staff attorneys ask questions of the attorney general? I mean, the stuff you see online, people saying can't take the heat, can't take some questions from, from staff attorneys, big deal. No, actually, it's just not protocol. It's just not done to a Senate-confirmed cabinet member. They are supposed to be questioned by the members of the committee. And it seems, according to Chairman Nadler, that none of the Democratic members is capable of asking the attorney general proper questions. That's a surprise to me since many of them are lawyers. But the only time you allow counsel to interview witnesses in a hearing is when it's an investigative hearing, uh, like when it's game. almost like a grand jury. You never do that for oversight hearings or budget hearings or anything. So, and remember, Bill Barr agreed to appear, and then after he agreed, Nadler decided to change the rules. It's just, uh, it's, it's, so this is all theater. it's typical this is all Democratic, it like you're hiding dirty pull. Oh, sure. It's sure. I mean, uh, it's just ridiculous. All right, Governor, uh, now, disgraced FBI Director Jim Comey, one of uh, <laughs> Joe's favorite people. Uh, now, he's the man who led uh, the charge for all these uh, corrupt anti-Trump agents. He's again in the process of blame shifting, writing in a New York uh, Times op-ed just came out. Mr. Trump eats your soul in small bites. Mr. Trump makes everyone a co-conspirator to his preferred set of facts or delusions. Well, the lack of professional responsibility from this man is stunning. Well, first of all, he's dead wrong about Donald Trump. Donald Trump does not eat people's soul in small bites. He takes it one great big chomp and he's over and he's done with it. Uh, it's one of the reasons that he's president, because he does know how to take on an adversary. Jim Comey uh, has a lot of explaining to do. How he leaked, how he lied. But you heard I, Barr. He's, he, he's going to be investigating I, Comey, I think, right? I mean, look, that's what we think I don't tonight. want revenge, but I want justice. I, I really am not interested in just, okay, they did this to us, let's do it to them. No. I'm interested in justice for one reason. If the most powerful arm of the federal government can go after and almost take down a sitting president, what on God's earth could they do Regular for people. me? Look, Joe, Joe, look, James, call me. James Comey, Brennan, Amer America's call me. Dirty Clapper. Cop. James Comey, America's Dirty Cop, ate the soul of the FBI. Mm. He destroyed the FBI. And this little piece of paper, which is the FISA court ruling from 2017, where the chief judge outlines four years of lying by the Obama FBI and Justice Department to the court, about illegal spying by three contractors is going to be their undoing. And the court has already informed the Justice Department of the extent of the lying by the Obama FBI and DOJ. You know what? Comey can write poetry and go stand in the forest and write Redwoods. this. Redwoods. Uh, you know, whatever. You know, this goofy guy, he better get used to it because this is going to be his undoing.
This I, little I don't ruling. I never want Joe to hold up a prop and point at me for anything. I don't want <laughs> Joe. Oh, it's scary. When you hold up a prop and it's like a Pfizer, yeah. uh, forget it. But they're, they're already trying to spin these investigations of their conduct, oh, yeah. are they not? Absolutely. That's what this is about. They know they're yeah. on the griddle. They're on the griddle now, all these guys. It's the Brennan Clapper griddle. I mean, they just, they, they are fighting back the only yeah. way they know how. Dirty. All right, guys, great to see both of you. Thank you. And thanks for mentioning the barbecue. Arkansas is always going to go back to barbecue. <laughs> These guys are like, come Why on. Not?